Hi, I'm Pastor Mark, and these are some of the essentials of my life. In front of me, I have different things. This isn't going to be in priority order. Uh, but these are things that mean a lot to me. I'll, I'll probably have to start just so I'm nice and spiritual, uh, but start with my Bible. Uh, because it actually, if I were to put a priority, uh, it would be my relationship with God and His Word to direct my life. Uh, from there, I'd probably have to go to my wife. This is a lie. Look at, look at our <laughs> This ring represents my marriage, represents my wife, represents uh, the commitment we've made to each other. And Andrea's doubled my life. Uh, she really has and increased it so much. Andrea gave me this ring uh, when we moved to Texas uh, about 14 years ago uh, when we planted a church down there. And this was a, a symbol of our commitment to God and the calling that he had on our life and just the new uh, thing that he was stepping us into, but this has really become a symbol of the ministry that God has called me to and my commitment to him to fulfill his desire and purpose for my life. And we jump into some of my fun things, uh, which are my tools. Uh, this represents, I have a large, vast amount of tools for different things. Uh, these are my air impact wrenches, and that was the easiest thing to grab and bring in, uh, but and it fit on my, my boardroom table here. But I love working on my cars. I love working around our house, doing stuff. I, I find it relaxing and I just enjoy it. And I've, over the years, accumulated uh, a number of tools. I guess maybe the next thing right in front of me here would be some books. Uh, I use a lot of resources when I'm studying. Uh, and these commentaries help me to be able to dig a little bit deeper uh, into God's Word so that I understand a little bit broader spectrum of what God is saying to us through His Word for when I'm preaching. And I need that uh, to be able to do my best to study myself, to show myself approved, to work but not be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of Truth. Uh, I, watches. I love watches. I love especially big watches. This is my diesel watch and it's the biggest one I have. I have a few others, but uh, I love big watches. The only problem is, is when you're in church and you're clapping, it actually hits the back of my hand and it hurts. Uh, but uh, It's not a good one to wear for worship, but it's a good one to wear uh, just to look at. I have a spatula here. I love to cook outside. I, I love to barbecue and I love to smoke. What did he say? I've got a smoker and I've got a barbecue and uh, both of those are essential, especially now, even in the winter. When it's minus 10, minus 20, I'll go out there and turn the barbecue on and I'll barbecue. Smoking, I usually wait till it's a little bit warmer, uh, but this past weekend I smoked a brisket and I just brought some of it in for the uh, staff to have. We did it COVID style, we were very careful, but uh, uh, for them to taste the smoked brisket, I love to cook outside. It's, it's awesome. Football, always been a huge part of my life. Uh, this helmet was actually given to me by one of the churches I pastored at uh, because I coached the high school football team uh, in Leduc. I coached the running backs and the linebackers and uh, my church uh, really appreciated the fact that I was involved in the community uh, when I was the senior pastor there uh, working in the high school and so they gave me this when I left there with a little plaque on the back uh, thanking me for my service to the church and to the community. I love football. Football helps me relax. Uh, I played it for a number of years and uh, just sitting and watching it and watching the plays develop and seeing the different things that are going to take place and uh, I just it helps me to get out of my normal world and just chill uh, and enjoy it. So Sunday afternoons, that's kind of my, my thing, is Sunday afternoon I just sit in front of the TV and watch football. <laughs> Uh, I guess the next thing would be this bottle. Uh, you might see this quite often if you're in the auditorium when I'm preaching. I fill it up before every service and I go to the water cooler here in the office, fill it up, and I take this out. Uh, <laughs> I take it everywhere I go. Uh, number one, it's got my BP Church on it, but uh, also just for that refreshment. And just it just helps me to, to be rehydrated at all times. I love water. Um, let me see, what else do I have? My fishing rods. Uh, you can see the fishing rods in front of there. Uh, the little pink one, I, 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 gotta, I gotta show you this one. Uh, maybe we'll throw a picture in here too. But this was, this was Kristen's first fishing rod and Braille had an identical one, but Braille's broke. Uh, but this was Chrissy's first fishing rod. Uh, I actually started fishing 
when I was a little kid with my grandmother, with my nan and my grandfather. It's my first memory really of them as being at the lake at the shore and fishing for trout. Uh, and I just loved it. And ever since then, it's just been a part of my life. I love to fish. Even when I was a kid growing up, I'd get on my bike, take my fishing rod and go out to the ocean. Uh, no matter what or where it was, I'd try to find a place to go fishing. So uh, these are a couple of my rods and, and uh, yeah, just it's one of the relaxing things I, I really, really enjoy getting to the ocean uh, and fishing every time we go on vacation if I can. Let me see, what else did I have? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.